Hey guys, it's time for the question of the week. Today's question comes from a couple people actually asked a variation of this question in my Be With Your Twin Flame Facebook group. And so um, that's how I chose the question to answer today. And that question is actually a good one. It is how can we love our twin flame if love, well, love, help, and or support our twin flame if focusing on our twin flame only pushes them away. This shows you're paying attention. <laughs> um, so yes, if you followed my videos at all or any of my teachings or anything, you know that when we focus on our twin flame, the twin flame pulls away. We actually push our energy out and the twin flame pulls theirs away. Um, and so, Right, when we focus on the twin flame, that's what happens. And so, um, but here's the thing. Um, the, the confusion about this question seems to come from the fact that um, the definition of love. So loving someone is not what we do anything physically. Anything in the physical world that we are conditioned or, or brought up or taught to believe that is love, or that is, you know, you know, sung about in love songs, or written about in love, love poems, or romance novels, or on movies. Um, none of that, anything that we though think of in the physical world as having to do with love, is not love. Why is that? Because the physical world is just a bunch of just fear-based energy, that push-pull energy that you and your twin flame are, that's what everyone is doing with everyone else as well. It's just, I mean, it's not as intense with everyone else or anything because they are not in the same exact wavelength and frequency as your push-pull energy. But still, they have push-pull energy going on, you have push-pull energy going on, this other person, person has push-pull energy going on. Everyone's interacting with everyone else through push-pull fear-based energy. The physical world is nothing but a bunch of fear-based energy. That's what it is. Um, that's why it's an illusion, and that's why there's opposites and dualities and polarity in, in the physical world, and only in the physical world, because it's all fear-based. Where there is fear, there cannot be love. Those two things are mutually exclusive. Fear is the opposite of love. So love is actually the absence of fear, right? So um, there's no real love in the physical world. Um, there are things that we've been taught to associate with love and that to define as love in the physical world um, and all different types of relationships like, you know, um, romantic love, sexual love, passionate love, um, mother-child love, parent-child love, you know, brother-sister love, friend love, all that kind of stuff. But none of that stuff is actually love because why? It's all coming from a place of fear. Even the idea of it is thought up in someone's mind at one point, so it comes from fear. Your mind is fear. Your soul is love. And so um, to love someone, and I mean, let's just talk about the twin flame for our purposes here. To love the twin flame has nothing to do with pushing your energy out physically onto the physical form of the twin flame. That isn't love. That isn't loving the twin flame. Now, because that isn't love, but you can go through those motions or those, you know, physical motion, motions of love um, with other people who aren't your twin flame without them, you know, obviously pulling away or pushing away because they're not your twin flame and you're not necessarily on that push-pull um, relating pattern with them. However, with the twin flame, as we know, when you're in a twin flame journey, you cannot focus on the physical form of the twin flame. That means you cannot do those, you know, seemingly fear-based love things with the twin flame physical form. No love has to do with the physical form. So if you are pushing out onto the twin flame, even in the guise of love, that's not love. And of course your twin flame is going to pull away. So how do you love your twin flame? The question is really, how do you love your twin flame period, right? Um, well, you don't do it through a physical sense because that's not love. To love your twin flame, you have to um, understand that love actually is not a verb. You don't love anyone. You don't love your twin flame. You don't love anyone. You don't love anything. Love is not a verb. Love is an energy. It is a vibration. And it actually happens to be your vibration. You are your soul. 
Your soul is a vibration. That vibration is one of pure love. And so that vibration also so happens to be actually your twin flame. So you and your twin flame are the exact same vibration of love. So to love your twin flame really, even though it's not a verb, would be to align closer with your soul, your true soul vibration of love. And incidentally, your twin flame, because your twin flame is also that same vibration of love. So that's how you love anything, and especially this twin flame. You shift closer into alignment with yourself because you are love. There's nothing to do about love. Love is not a verb. Love is you. Love is your soul. It is your true soul vibration. So by aligning closer to your true soul vibration, you shift closer into the vibration of love and you be love. You become love. You just, you, you vibrate it. You exude it, right? You, you emit it as a frequency. And of course, that's also shifting closer into your twin flame and it will attract your twin flame to you, but also attract love from all, everything and everyone else just through, you know, basic law of attraction that's always working. And other people will feel it too. They will feel it. I mean, they are the exact same vibration of love as you, but you emit love and other people feel it. They feel the vibration. Love is the most powerful, strongest vibration there is. And it happens to be you and your soul, right? So you are the most powerful vibration that exists. You are love. Your twin flame is love. I actually talk about this in way greater detail regarding all sorts of relating experiences in my book, Love Exposed, which is available on Amazon. It's not just for twin flames. And, um, you know, it wasn't written to be that way. But it's, it seems I'm, <laughs> I'm very often referring to it in all my videos regarding Twin Flames, which is interesting. But um, if you want to check it out, it's on Amazon, Love Exposed. Um, and it's, it's, it really goes in deeper into about explaining like how this is, why love is not a verb, <laughs> why it is who we are, and all that other stuff. So it's, it's short read. It's quick. It's fun. So pick it up if you want, if you're more interested in learning about that. But anyway, so... How you love your twin flame, even though love is not a verb, would be by shifting closer into alignment with your soul, with your true soul vibration, which is love, which is also your twin flame. And of course, your twin flame will then come to you um, physically because through the law of attraction, that's what would happen. You would, you would magnetize them in, provided also your push-pull energy is balanced. So that's actually two parts of the, of the, of the process of getting to be um, with your twin flame in a permanent relationship should you want one. It would be the first part, would be aligning, shifting closer into alignment with your soul, which is what I just discussed. And then secondly, balancing out your push-pull energy. So alignment and balance. They're the two parts of the process of magnetizing in your twin flame. So um, that's that part of the question. How do you love your twin flame without pushing them away? Because you don't focus on the external part. You shift closer into love which would be your true soul vibration and your twin flame. And then um, for help and support your twin flame, which is the other part of the question, how would you help and support them? Um, the best thing, the only way you can help and support your twin flame when you are in this journey, because if you haven't noticed, even helping and supporting them, you know, doing something for them physically, reaching out to them physically is going to cause them to pull away, right? So the best way to help and support them would be to do this work, to align closer to your soul to especially do the balancing of the push-pull energy. Because if your twin flame seems to be in need of some kind of help, assistance, or support from you, um, most likely it's due to the fact of the pull energy that they have, which is you know exactly your push energy, but pull. And if you balance out your push energy, you're also automatically then balancing out their pull energy because you are the same energy. So it only takes one twin flame to do this for both. And, you know, remember this push pull energy that you share with your twin flame, you are the push, they are the pull is fear based, but it's also addictive. And so the addictive part really, really wreaks havoc with all of us. I mean, you can feel the addictive part of your push. It's addicted to the physical form of the twin flame, right? I mean, that's why you have these obsessive thoughts. That's why, I mean, you're even here watching this right now, right? Um, but, you know, the pull twin flame, they still have that addictive urge. They still feel the addiction, but they can't satisfy it with the twin flame because that energy is pulling them away. So they're almost tormented. So they don't know, they're looking maybe other places, other people, other things, you know, substances, whatever, to quench this addiction, to satisfy this addictive feeling that they have. But it's not being, it's not being satisfied because really only the twin flame can do that. 
but because their energy is pulling them away from you, their twin flame, they can't get satisfied. So the best way to help them, the best way to get them out of any like um, detrimental behaviors or addictive behaviors or anything like that is to balance out your push energy, which then balances out their pull energy. So um, I hope that answers this question for you guys. Really, the, the whole gist of it is focus within. Don't focus without. Love is not without. Love is within. Love is you. You are love. Your soul is love. You, your soul is your twin flame. And, you know, all you need to do is shift closer into alignment with your soul and to balance out your push-pull energy. Both things that I teach in my coaching program. So if you're interested in those, I can put a link below here and or, or, or hit me up about that. And also, do check out Love Exposed if you're more interested in learning about that. It's available on Amazon right now. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend and lots of love.